high vibes everyone yes i'm taking it easy uh the energies are very powerful and uh, and so you see me more laid back <laughs> i just want to share some stuff here with you so to remind you some things um to remind you that um we are the creators of our realities and um and uh, it's uh, super important if we want to rise up in the in, in the our ascension process and be really the, the fifth dimension beyond beings that we came here to be we uh there is a work to be done an active work to be done to stay in, in the high vibration and also to focus on our creations what we wish to see manifest and then uh, also relax also learn to receive what we ask for because there is a time to ask there is like an active work just now i had like uh, i did my uh, my um, uh, manifestation practice um, i have shared this with you uh, in the previous videos uh, with uh, uh, grat writing down a gratitude list and then after that uh, um, playing some music that I really like and uh, and then uh, remain grateful and say thank you for the whole duration of the track and dance and connect with the higher energies. I also speak with the unicorns, I speak with the, with the dragons, I work with the dragons and the Ascend Masters and uh, I work with all light beings uh, to, uh, to create so it's a process and uh, as you can see I, I just woke up not a while, not a long time ago and i had breakfast and i did this work and i can feel the energy is very strong and it, it it's so active the work that i'm doing uh, just by by writing down things and being gratitude that i also feel uh, the the push to to just relax and you just just be in a state of complete relaxation and allowing the energy to do the work for me and that is the state of i call it being the the star mode the star we are stars <laughs> star mode so uh, star because surrender trust and all receive so surrendering 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 just what i do surrendering trusting completely and uh, and then uh, allowing and receiving so so uh, there is a, a way to do it and the way to do it is once you ask once you do the work that the work then it's also a uh, time to chill completely <laughs> and uh, and there are many who think that just uh, just by sitting down and just by just just doing nothing things will happen but it doesn't work this way there is also needs to be intention and there also needs to be like uh, clear clarity in what is wish to uh, to see manifest because the more we write things write things down i'm gonna show you like this is i feel the pages gratitude and information each and every day so i have many of those uh, um, notebooks <laughs> all day long writing down things and doing things so it's a pretty fun game to play it feels really good and you know when it feels good when it feels more than fine then that's how when the, the universe delivers uh, the point is to be always in the state of receiving mode and to know that anything we ask it is given from the very moment we ask we ask and then you just stay in this receiving mode and uh, and to remember to remember that there is nothing we cannot be do or have there is nothing we cannot be do or have it's just uh, a desire is there a desire and a desire is the, the fire that is um, um, making us uh, more of who we came here to be because the joy of what we wish to uh, to create to see manifest is uh, is, uh, is 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 the, the fuel that is bringing this forward so uh, there is not no right and wrong way for for nobody. Everybody is different. And everybody has to follow the inner voice within, and that's why I'm staying a little bit general with you. And um, I'm not uh, trying to uh, to put you in in boxes and say, okay, uh, you have to do this and one and two and three and four and five. So um, 
I'm doing my best to stay as much as possible, generally speaking. And at the same time, uh, I'm sharing with you my experience. So um, you can uh, do these things for yourselves because I believe each and every one, uh, we are our own guru. And basically the real lesson, uh, especially in this lifetime, but always has been like that, is really to listen to the voice within and to be guided by that voice within. Even if you have like... Uh, the whole population of the planet not agreeing with us or anybody else. Uh, it's just the voice within. If the voice within makes you feel good, then you have to follow that voice. And uh, and I don't say, you know, <laughs> so I, I go, I, I'm not going to say that, okay, you know, the, a, a voice within is, is makes you feel good that you're going to go and uh, do something harm to everybody. And if somebody else, do, do no harm to no, anybody else. Uh, I, I include also the animals, so of course, uh, I don't know if there are people who feel good with the sensation, but uh, I'm not going into that into that, uh, that area. Um, feeling good uh, in any possible way means that uh, we do no harm to others, to any others. And uh, yes, I'm vegan for almost now uh, 13 years, um, more, more 15 years. Uh, and I'm raw vegan since 10 years, but that's me. That's just me. Um, ev not everybody is the same. I don't judge uh, somebody else who is not vegan. Everybody has their own path and their own way of uh, feeling what is needed for their body. So no judgment. Um, I just say that uh, the way I, I notice the process of evolution taking place, and if we consider ascension process in our bodies, uh, meaning that our, our bodies become, uh, we go from carbon-based to crystalline-based cells. This means that uh, we are more in need of minerals and more in need of water and more in need of uh, things that support our systems to, to become these new bodies, these crystalline bodies. And basically it is like um, having a little bit less structure of like a plant, basically, like we become more more in, in that direction we will be more and more we are already and we will be more and more absorbing more light so this means that our diet has no other choice than to shift so if you see it in this way that we're evolving and if you are doing the work the practice each and every day to go within and to to meditate to do the work within and to find this this peace within and from there listen to the inner voice within then uh, there is a guidance and everybody can go and do that even somebody did not uh, do meditation before if you just take 15 to 20 minutes today right in this now moment and go within and you you your intention is just to be there present with yourself with your thoughts it does not matter you don't have to empty your thoughts you just have to be present with your thoughts and be there the, this is the work so the meditation is not so difficult as we think it is. You just have to, um, the need to, to you must uh, persevere into, into wanting, willing, you must be willing to uh, want to stay 20 minutes, give this time for yourself. So, so if you do that on a daily basis, uh, then uh, it pays off. So, uh, so uh, this is how this is how the law of attraction works and this is how the clarity comes and this is how each and every day can be guided in making the right choices it starts from within all changes starts from within there's no more everything out there all the changes out there is just happening from within out this is they all describing completely so so third dimensional uh, reality does not exist anymore it's not it's not real so we are completely in the fourth and fifth dimension and going even higher so we are multidimensional beings so we there is a lesson there is a curve lesson to learn of course i can get it that many do not get this meaning what it what this means and they are doing the best to stay in that in the third dimensional uh, reality well that's called dissension so i've seen everyone is free and then <laughs> What happens is that uh, if you don't ascend and, and you don't do the work to go within and go in and raise your frequency in the body and do all the work, uh, then of course you go back to a, 
26,000 uh, year cycle uh, to, to learn all the lessons uh, you didn't learn. So which is what is better, to go in the 26,000 cycle or to just uh, uh, um, ascend in the physical body and experience and get out of the kar karmic cycles and, uh, and to really have uh, living in a rejuvenated body for hundreds if not thousands of years, because that's what that's what is true. We are eternal, and in this process of ascension, we are um, um, witnessing the manifestation of a, an ascending physical body that can live for a thousand years, even more. <laughs> so, uh, believe it or not, this is what this ascension is all about. And yes, ascension process has. Um, many facets and uh, uh, each and every moment creates uh, the opportunity to to uh, the challenge to do the work uh, but in the end of the day it's about evolving and uh, evolution uh, it's about going back to source each and every moment and the more we are closer to source the more we are godly and the more we are under these feelings of compassion, of kindness, of generosity, of love, true love, authentic love, authentic joy, unconditional love, unconditional joy. So, um, so this is this is. Don't you want to live like in com communities that are into the same uh, high vibe tribes and uh, feeling the love for one another and really knowing what alignment to source is and really being in this energy and being around, around like-hearted, like-minded people that really get this and they're very happy in, in, in their lives and you're also very happy in yours and then there is support for another. I mean, <laughs> you know, there is so much darkness um, happening right now on, on, on the planet that it's very easy to focus on all the things and keep on speaking about these things and keep on talking about, oh, you know, this happened and this and the COVID and this and this and this. And all day long, there is like a continuous um, avalanche of this news. And, and, uh, and uh, for me personally, I'm over with all that. I, I don't need to really, uh, how can I say it? Uh, watch all this It's just, I knew these things for a long time now. But you're gonna tell me it's just me, okay? This is who I am. Yeah, I came from the future to uh, because I didn't like what was happening here. And many amongst you who watch this, you also came from the future. And more and more, this reality is 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 it's um, happening to me. I remember more and more of my future, and I'm like, yeah, this is why I don't, I cannot uh, comply with anything that I see uh, right now. I also see beauty, a lot of beauty, yeah, so I don't say that it's something bad, it's just that I, I, I see the beauty around me. At the same time, when I see all this um, negativity f coming forward, which has to come forward to be cleared out, this is the only way to move forward, and I really get it, that, um, that a big percentage of humanity needs to see it in order, in order to believe it and change. This is the work to be done, this is why you are here. To do this work to be the lights for those around us who are not there yet and to be the lights does not mean you have to speak with them with words you just have to be the presence and being with this energy our vibration speaks more than words words don't speak vibration speaks to feel good in this now moment with ourselves speaks more than words i will say it ever, over and over again because this is the most important thing that we can do like loving ourselves and feeling good within ourself it's already serving its purpose and this is not about being selfish this is about selfless service selfless service it's to love the self and get out and be in in society and be in the city and being in, in in places and be present with the energy and just by doing that just by going to cafes and wherever you want to go and be present with your energy within you don't have to speak to anybody. The energy is doing the work already. If you are with family, with family maybe you cannot really get along so well. It's the same. Vibration, the self-love brings selfless service. <laughs> that is the real meaning of being selfless. This is the meaning of being service to others. 
you cannot be of service to others if you don't first love yourself and you don't consciously keep this vibration high while you are around others and how does this work well this work this goes back to what i was sharing just in this beginning the beginning of this video now so the work is to be done is very simple just go within for 20 minutes do the work and then start writing down things lists of gratitude and really be creative to find all the things that you're grateful for in this life whatever you have cannot be also unconditional gratitude for the things you didn't receive yet but you know you have already asked and already received and also for all the, all the things that that you don't know you want but you will receive because the higher self our own presence uh, knows better than us what is what is good so um, so this is basically what i will be sharing this now um, um, it's a little bit of everything um, as thoughts come in this laid back <laughs> state of uh, of uh, of beingness uh, that i really love and uh, i just want to share a moment with you and uh, just uh, channel uh, some insights as they come to you and uh, I hope that you are benefit from this and uh, I send you much love and high vibes.